Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and I make fragrance videos and today I want to show you the perfumes that I brought with me on holiday. I brought a little bit more than I'm going to show you today because I did intend to make a couple of videos but these are the ones that I actually wore on my vacation and the ones I'm going to show you today and the ones I intended to wear so this is what I decided to put in this video otherwise it would be a little bit too much. So. Let me start with the first one. Probably the one that I wore the most so far is Delina La Rosée by Parfum de Marly. This one is just the most beautiful summer Delina, fresh, floral, I think everybody knows it by now. It's just your more aquatic, more fresh, fruity, juicy Delina still with that gorgeous rose and peony note. It's so refreshing, it's still sweet on me. It lasts pretty well for a fresh floral fragrance and I just feel like it's so beautiful. Like I could always wear this. This is such a staple in my collection. I'll always repurchase this. I think it's just beautiful for just every single day in the summer, even just all year round, but especially I feel like in the summer, it is just really one of the best florals you can wear. Such a compliment getter and just a really beautiful fragrance. Absolutely love Delina La Rosée. Then the second fragrance, probably the second most used fragrance since I'm on vacation, is Ocean de Joya by Armani. This is just such a pretty, clean and aquatic fragrance that is just so easy to wear. Fresh, aquatic. It's a bit soapy, it's a bit like shampoo-y, it's super squeaky clean, just makes you feel fresh. I like to wear this after the shower, I like to just spray this as a refreshment. When I want something light, this does not last that much, but I kind of almost like that with this fragrance because then if I don't want something to be like too burdening sometimes when it's like really, really hot outside, sometimes it was scorching hot, like 40 degrees or even like anything over 35, I'm like, oof. I just want something light and watery and aquatic like I just cannot wear anything heavy it's just gonna annoy me so this one is perfect for those occasions and also when you just want to wear something just for a couple of hours and then have your evening fragrance for example or just like daytime fragrance when you wear this for example after the shower in the morning I think yeah for that occasion it's really nice just a simple aquatic clean and fresh fragrance that is the type of thing that I just always end up wearing. Super nice one if you just want an easy to wear freshie. Another one that I like just as much, even though I have been wearing it a little bit less, is the original Aqua di Gioia. So this one, I actually prefer it over the Ocean di Gioia just a little bit, um, but it's like a little bit more specific maybe because it's very green fragrance. It's very minty. It, to me, it totally smells like a mojito, like literally. It almost has a little bit of an alcoholic feel to it, but mostly it's like mint, it's green, it's fresh, aquatic, and I also definitely get like a sugar, like a brown sugar kind of note. So this is literally a cocktail, but a very refreshing green one. So yeah another one that i find very very nice in the summer i think i would pretty much only wear this in the summer so it's perfect for occasion gives you that holiday feeling because it smells like a cocktail so it's very nice next aquatic fave of mine is definitely pacific or rock moss by goldfield and banks the most amazing aquatic fragrance i think there is this is probably my favorite that exists in the whole world if you want a very like elegant, luxurious smelling aquatic fragrance that has a beautiful like natural scent of lemon to it, it has some moss, it has some sage in here, it's a little bit woody, musky, it's like kind of creamy to my nose as well but still like super fresh and like aquatic lemony as well so it's like very very round very smooth smells super luxurious this is a compliment getter and i think this is just the perfect aquatic scent really amazing amazing i feel like even if you are not a citrusy aquatic type of person you might like this this is totally unisex everybody can wear this i feel like 
this is like totally like a universal universally likable at least in my opinion um i think this is just a 10 out of 10 fragrance and it lasts pretty well on me as well so that's a plus and the next one we have jo malone wood sage and sea salt this gets compared so so much to pacific rock moths but i do think they are not as similar as some people say to me this is more aquatic this doesn't really have too much citrusy notes it's more aquatic and aromatic so if you want something that has some kind of similarity but it doesn't have that lemoniness to it i think you could check this one out i also find it even more aquatic more fresh it doesn't last as long you have to say that to it as well but it is very very beautiful super refreshing also one of those like great fresh out of the shower kind of scents and like just super super likable super likable aquatic aromatic scent just gorgeous Oof. it is so 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 good i love it then we have another jo malone fragrance which is orange blossom and this one on me personally last probably one of the best from jo malone this one and red roses this lasts really decently i would say maybe five-ish hours or so so for a cologne you know like the weakest amount of fragrance so to say um i think this is pretty decent and the smell it is so so good why is this not talked about more this is probably my favorite from jo malone that i have smelled it smells just like an orange tree orange blossom without the green notes though it really just smells like the orange blossoms and you also get the orange peel definitely or mandarin peel it's that very juicy tart note especially when you spray it like it's fruity it's floral it smells like holiday it smells like holiday in the mediterranean um it is so so beautiful it's refreshing but it's still kind of sweet it's very feminine it's very pretty and this is like the perfect fragrance to wear with like a summer dress maybe like a white or floral dress um super beautiful understated feminine and elegant i love love this fragrance like i said my i would say my favorite from jo malone Next up, Lancôme Idol Aura. This one, another beautiful floral fragrance. But this one is almost more like a vanilla fragrance. I would say it's like mainly a vanilla, caramel, salty fragrance. But the salty note is subtle in here. And then you have that beautiful, like kind of watery, rosy, floral bouquet note that you have in the original as well this is still my favorite idol i also like the original that one also has like just a subtle vanilla but it's mainly a fresh fragrance this one is more warmer and sweeter but it still retains some of that floral freshness so that's why it's totally wearable in the summer i think this is such a nice fragrance to wear at the beach for example or for a beach party as well you can wear this in the daytime i feel like and in the evenings and um yeah it just smells like a sexy summer skin it's beautiful it's a staple in my collection i hope they don't discontinue it because there's so many flankers from the idol line and now they came they just came out with the idol now like a couple of weeks ago and but this is still my favorite and i really hope they never discontinue it because it's the most beautiful if you ask me another one that i have been really liking now that i'm on vacation is versace bright crystal just your very very easy to wear peony lotus watery aquatic scent it's kind of like fresh clean but it's also floral and a bit like a pink smelling if that makes any sense it's super pretty it's very very soft it's watery it's very feminine i think it's very very nice to wear in the heat definitely for me, a summer only fragrance. This is very light as well, just like um, the Wizard and Sea Salt or the um, Ocean de Joya. It lasts a little bit longer on my skin, but it definitely is not a beast mode fragrance or even like a moderate projecting and lasting fragrance. Definitely doesn't last a whole lot. That's why I like to spray a lot of this. But I 
really really like the way it smells i would say it does smell sort of synthetic but in a like not in a bad way um it's just a very very pleasant soft floral and fresh fragrance that yeah super easy to wear in the summer next up we have probably like my favorite daytime casual rose scent which is Eau Rose by Diptyque. I'd say this one and Chloe Eau Roses. No, it's just called Chloe Roses or Roses to Chloe. Um, these are pretty similar to me, um, but this one probably is my favorite. Um, I'm not sure. They're like equally favorites, but this one, oh, it is just to die for. It's like the perfect casual everyday rose scent. Mainly what you get is roses and what I get is red, deep roses, velvety roses. Still, it's not like a nighttime evening sexy fragrance. It's still very, very clean. It's fresh. It's like, has a hint of like sweetness, a hint of fruity notes, like maybe like raspberry or something like that. But it's almost more like the rose itself. Like, you know, sometimes roses have a little bit of a fruity scent. I feel like that's the case with this one as well. Smells super, super classy, super elegant, very, very clean, totally fits that kind of clean girl aesthetic and just something that's more kind of everyday, elegant, but in a very like refined and understated kind of way. I also do really like the bottle of Tatique, especially this one. It's very, very pretty. Um, and yeah, this is just absolutely beautiful. It is an eau de toilette, but I find that compared to some of the other fragrances that I've mentioned that are lighter, this one does perform a little bit better. Still, it stays relatively close to the skin, as you would imagine, but considering for a fresh rose eau de toilette fragrance, I think it still definitely projects okay, and it lasts like maybe your five to six hours or so, with, you know, like a not very strong projection but it performs better than I personally expected before I had this. So I would totally recommend this if you just look for a clean, like classic rose scent that you can wear every single day, but especially in the warmer season, this is just perfect. Next up, of course, I couldn't leave this one out. If you want more your typical like beachy, tropical vacation kind of scent with yellow florals, tiare flower, ylang ylang, and just a hint of coconut in there as well, then I'd say there's nothing better than Terracotta Le Parfum. It's like the ultimate like beach, sweet, creamy, ylang ylang fragrance. There's nothing quite like this. It smells a little bit like suntan lotion as well, but not too much to the point that I would say like it's a sun cream kind of vibe, you know, just a little bit in the background, but mainly it's yellow florals. You definitely have some jasmine in here as well, which I think is pretty prominent. And it is very like lush and beautiful and sweet without being overpoweringly sweet. And it's like a sun goddess, summer goddess kind of vibe. So it's absolutely beautiful. I really, really like this. And yeah, perfect for vacation. Of course, I also wanted to take a tropical vanilla fragrance and what better is there then Ylang and Gold by M. Mikalev. Oh my god, the best, like, creamy, luscious, luxurious vanilla you can find. It has some tropical flowers, Ylang Ylang. Always say this has a note of banana in here as well, like banana custard, the vanilla mix. Like, oh, it is just so good. It smells like tropical fruits, tropical flowers. And it's more warmer and creamier to my nose. It's a little bit more dense and heavier, but still I find this wearable in the summer. Maybe not on like the hottest of the hottest days, unless you're literally just gonna lie down at the beach and not gonna do anything. Um, it is just so good. This would work super well also for a summer night out, for a party, party at the beach. If you wanna feel like super sexy. Also the bottle is gorgeous. So pretty, Ylang and Gold, I still really, really love this one. Next up, another tropical cocktail, the ideal cocktail party, night out kind of scent. It's a Leisure in Paradise by Simone Andreoli. Oh my God, the best cocktail ever, coconut, papaya, mango. It's sweet, it's super sweet actually. 
it's creamy it's fruity it's like just an explosion in your nose in a good way um it smells so so good it smells just like having fun and i just sprayed it in my eye which is not fun um but it literally it smells like a fun evening it smells like a fun afternoon fun night out whenever you're gonna wear this it's playful it's flirty it's sweet it's fruity it's coconutty it's all that you want for like an evening at a beach bar for example or whenever you choose to wear this i probably wouldn't wear this like in the midday heat but i feel like in the afternoon oh my god this smells so delicious it's very strong at the beginning i don't find that it lasts extremely long time but in the beginning it is very very strong very very strong fragrance and you actually don't need that much from it it smells amazing if you're looking for a kind of coconutty fruit cocktail fragrance and look no further this is just amazing delicious fragrance and then the last fragrance I want to mention, I only have the travel size of this, it's Matcha Meditation by Maison Magella. I find that this one is just such a nice, just relaxing fragrance. And the main notes I get here is a little bit of white florals, some definitely strong green tea notes in here. And also you get like a white chocolate creamy dry down, which I feel like is special with this kind of fragrance. It is definitely a softer, closer to the skin fragrance and more something for yourself, I always find. Generally with Maison Magella, I feel like they are usually, like besides by the fireplace, not that strong and more like for yourself, like just to enjoy the moment. Like I always imagine this, like you're lying in the hammock maybe, on a holiday or wherever, just like having a relaxing afternoon. You spray this, or even at home, you spray this and you just feel relaxed. And this is how I like to wear this fragrance. Um, doesn't project that much and doesn't last that long, but it's just like for myself. If I want something that's very calming and relaxing and just like a spa kind of fragrance almost, I think this is a very pretty one. I'm definitely gonna buy the full size of this once I've used it up, which I'm not sure how long it will take me because I have so many fragrances. So. Yeah, but I really, really like this one. And then the last fragrance that I have been liking on holiday is Replica again, Maison Magella. This time, this is Flower Market. This one is just a very, very pretty, like a dainty, fresh floral fragrance. Smells like it says, like a flower market, like a bouquet of flowers. Super soft, super dainty and pretty. Again, more something for yourself, a more intimate projection and just something very soft and pretty and floral, mainly a mix of just white florals in here. There's nothing that necessarily very much stands up to my nose. It's just a simple floral, petal, pretty, a bit watery fragrance and I think it is just very joyful. It is so pretty. Just a really nice fragrance to just wear when you're walking through a park, lunch at a cafe, something like that. Just a simple, pretty floral fragrance that will just make you happy and it's very fresh. So it's perfect for the summer. This is Flower Market. All right, guys, that was my little video for today. That was the fragrances that I took with me on vacation. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a like if you did like it and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. And let me know down in the comments below which fragrances did you bring on vacation? Did you bring a lot or just a couple? Are you crazy like me? Or did you bring even way more than me? Let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye!